Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome. I am just checking out that everything's working. All the right lines are moving in the right direction. We've got uh, game sound. Um, I've got the guys on Discord in my ear, but uh, you can't hear them just yet. I might turn them on in a bit if they behave and can control their potty mouths. Uh, they might get to speak. Um, I hope everyone's doing all right. Happy Wednesday. What's happening? Um, I'm going to start with a few cool announcements. First and foremost, I'm going to go to this cam. Look, I'm sitting in the, look, I'm sitting with Moss Valley behind me um, because I'm going to do a little bit of jiggery pokery in the background. Um, and I am going to go to this picture. So I'm going to jump back now. Um, what you are seeing here is part of the crew that have not 30 minutes ago done this. And this was sent to me by Mark Haythornthwaite. Um, so 8.41, in fact, it was. Um, this is the final field being purchased on FSG's side on the competition server. So, we did it. We won. We beat Team Argsy. Um, but I've got to say, hats off to everyone that's played. Look at, the, look at some of the hours going in here. So, you know, big shout out to Hansen and the crew. Um that mucked in. Um, look, look at the overall totals. Hansen, 104 hours. Uh, Janar, 150 hours. Uh, Kjelland, 124 hours. And then the 62 hours, 56 hours. Like, like an incredible, incredible effort by so many people to get this over the line. Absolutely brilliant. Um, love it. Absolutely love it. Um, good competition. Good effort. Um, it took a while. It took a while to get it done, but got it done. So uh, hats off to all of you. Amand, Argzy, BNX22, Hansen, Chris1969, Farmer DK, big shout out for Farmer DK, uh, Farmer Hamish, Hobbs, Janar, uh, Yorin, Jordan, Kellen, Christoph, Legion, Marcus Anton, Mark, Mark H., Night Lurker, poor Farmer Ben, bless him, he's got two two accounts there because he kept crashing on one, so uh, he's obviously uh, found a way around that. Ben, nice one, mate. Met Ben up in Edinburgh last year. <clears throat> Scott and Scott's Laptop, Tam, Tater, um, just some guy called the Farm Sim Guy, uh, Turbo Flares, and Twisted. So big shout out all of you. Nice one. Rock and roll. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, so... There we go. What a result, though. What a result. Delighted we've won that. You know, competitive guy in me is like, whoops, I didn't even do anything. I know first stream and then never made it back on. Not true. Not true. I played I played without a camera on for some of it. Um, so there we go. Right, second announcement that I would like to do is to my good friend, Mr. Argzy. Because, where are we? Here we go. Today, he got his first mod onto the Mod Hub uh, for all platforms as well, which is no mean feat. So, there you go. Anywhere object storage by Argzy. Check this out. It's a really clever mod as well. I didn't end up in a river. You're right, Mark. I did two streams. I did do two streams. I did more than three hours then. Um, uh, yeah, anywhere storage mod from Args. Brilliant. So what it basically is, is you can drop uh, a storage block into any shed. It is so good. Um, that's true. It is a second mod, but the first for all platforms he did is fertilizer bags, but that was just PC only because of the branding on it. But basically, he's got this mod that you can drop uh, on any server, anywhere you want, but it's open air or it can sit under a shed and you can... Drop your bales in there. It will also take pallets, depending on which one you use. There's four different ones in there. Um, fantastic. Like, so delighted from. I know how long he's worked on this. We've talked about this for months and months and months. So for him to get this over the line, fair play to him. You know, 
proper hats off. Really, really, really good, uh, and worth checking out. So uh, go f go find it and have a play with it. It's uh, it's well worth checking out. And then last but not least, um, my website is finally live. Farm Sim Guy, the Farm Sim Guy, should I say? dot co dot uk. There it is. Um, at the moment, not much on it, other than if I scroll down to here. Baseball caps and beanies are available for shipping straight away. It's been on the Discord for the last couple of days, um, and we've had some orders already, so thank you to those guys. Um, but they're available for you to go and get now. So if you want one, finally, after three years of waiting, <laughs> you can have one. Kellen with the 20 gifted memberships. Thank you, buddy. That's awesome. Look at them coming in. Walt, Grant, Artemis, David, Hellhawk, Cape Cod, Hansen, Spear Dragon, Michael Dawson, and Grumpy Gray, M Speed, Does he Foo, Shadow, Glenn, Paul. Oh my god, look at you all. And Jan as well. Okay, stop. I can't read them all out. <laughs> Any of you guys that get on the server though, nice one. Um now you've got your memberships, you can come and jump in. So yes, finally we got things up and running. So a uh, big shout out to everybody. Right, I'm gonna close this now and I'm gonna go back to the game because we have got, tonight we're on uh, the Realism server. We've got a team here. So we've got Mark, Big H, Hamish is here, Tan is here, Chef Splash is here. There's Amy as well. Um, Farmer Hamish is coming with the other combine as well in a minute in fact there he is right on cue um i'm in the first combine i probably need to get out of the way there's finish as well i'm probably going to jump in now and get stuck in uh because we're realism server i'm going to go in cab as well uh which reminds me i've got to hook up my um pto there there we go and there we go we're in we're in got sim dashboard running got the um got the uh, uh, forgotten what it's called completely farm stick <laughs> working as well so uh, I guess nothing more to do than fire it up and uh, get on with things so um, let me see how's my uh, field of view here it's all right but we'll see how we get on so yes well done Argsy <laughs> pen edge looks quite interesting it does doesn't it it does it does indeed um, right, let's just get out of the way so Hamish can get in the field. I've got my... Uh, I can hear the guys slightly in my ears, but but it turned down quite a bit. There we go. Right, let's get started. We're going to do a little bit of a headland here. Hamish is going to follow in the second combine. And we're going to see how far we, we get. So um, let me just jump out and show you the field we're in. So we're on the Oaks. Uh, this is a well mature server now um, and uh, we're in field 60 which is one of the biggest on the map so um, we're going to get stuck in I think. Uh, Wolfman, hi, how are you doing? Uh, nice to see you. Semper, when are you leaving for the USA? Uh, I'm not going. If you're talking about uh, PAX East, I'm not going this year. Just too much on. I'll save myself for um, save myself for FarmCon I think this year. Uh, NS Sniper, we are doing soybeans on this field. Um, so hopefully we'll... I'm not sure how far round we'll get before we run out of space in the tank. It's not huge on these uh, uh, tree on combines, but uh be the dog in then. So we'll just roll around here for a little bit. I honestly haven't played Farm Sim much. I've kind of got videos out over the last few days, but... Uh, I've been, uh, the old work is uh, going pretty pretty full tilt at the moment, so finding the time has been a bit of a challenge, but it is nice, I was, look, Hamish sorted all this, he said, hey, we've got some stuff ready to go tonight if you want to play, and I was like, that's brilliant. So yeah, nice and easy, all set up for me, so big shout out for that. Did you mark on your own? That was a few. Uh, that was a few hours, was it? 
Hello, Dave. How you doing, mate? Looking forward to the Oaks remake. Uh, that's looking all yeah. Oaks remake is gonna be uh, brilliant. Knowing what uh, Briscoe's learned from Saxthorpe and uh, all the stuff he's done since he started, um, he's gonna he's gonna do a killer job with it. I think, no question. My head hurts all over the place. So, a bit of a bumpy field this one, isn't it? Get into the corner here. Still doing it. Uh, Wolfman, you do have to be a member to get onto the servers, yes. Um, we tried doing a free-for-all server, and uh, it was trashed within about 24 hours. So, uh, the Oaks is getting remade, Farmer Sim. Yes, indeed, buddy. How are you, mate? Anyway, all good? Oh, there we go. Get around that corner. Right. This is a big old field. I'm just keeping an eye on my uh, hopper as well, are we? We're 30% full already. Hello, Days. Nice to see you, mate. How are you? Ham and eggs. Just started following you. Love the Wyoming series. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Um, I am quite proud of that one, I've got to say. I want to resurrect it, but I want to do it justice. So, uh, I don't know. Strody! Thank you, mate. You appreciate it. We'll get those shipped tomorrow. I have my little helper who's, who uh, makes up the boxes and uh, and gets them all packaged up. So, yeah. She'll be excited. She's been looking forward. She's getting paid for it. So, um, she'll be excited to box them up. Um, there it is. It's just popped up on my phone as a notification. 75% in. Jeez, Mark. How long? How many hours? Christoph, your beanie has been packed and I think it's getting shipped tomorrow, mate. I have to get customs labels. Brexit. Grr. Ben Edge looks good. I haven't had a good look at it yet, but uh, yeah, looks like it's got potential. Only been waiting a year or so for one. There's some people here have been waiting three years for them. Yeah. It's taken a bit of time to get organised. Right, let's keep an eye. I am overlapping a quite a bit on the end here, but I don't want to miss any crop, ideally. Um, I'm getting tailed by about 20 uh, combines here. Uh, 20 trailers. You can see them in the uh, mirrors. These are uh, uh, tree on combines, though. I know we used these on the, uh, the, the contractor. Live stream the last one on uh, Attingham. Fantastic combines, really are. Lost them. No auto drive. So you're delivering as well. You having to you have to drive, then load up a trailer and drive it off and deliver it, and then drive back. What a lot of downtime, mate. Auto drive costs three hundred. I think it's set quite. We have got auto drive on this, but I think it's set quite high as well for that for that same reason. So I'm going to go cruise control here. I can. Why can't I set my cruise control? Uh, because. There we go. Oh. Overlap. Or lack of overlap. So, how's everyone doing? Because. I don't know. I don't know about anybody else. I'm going to throw this out there as a discussion point. But um, Farm Sim feels like it's it's hit a bit of a lull in March. I notice it, like, my views on the channel are way down. I've, I've not put as many vids out just because I've been busy. But um, there just seems to be, it's kind of hit that lull, right? Just people, the, the, the game has matured, right? It's, it's us kind of long-termers that are still here. Um, but uh, I think people are starting to think about the new game now I'm not I, I kind of feel like the third year of the game is the best year of the game um, I think there's that whole mods have matured you've got everything you could ever need it's just kind of new maps and things like that coming now but actually um, it's it's almost the perfect scenario for the game um, 
because we're in the dark and no one wants to invest time in bid mods when we don't know what's happening, which is fair, I think, from a modder perspective, yeah. From a player base, are we bored of the game or are we still enjoying it or what's the what's the vibe in the community? What's uh, what's the feeling? Hit a railing on a bridge wall. <laughs> because I'm actually at a stage where I'm really enjoying playing. Actually frustrated I haven't got enough time just at this moment in time, but that will that will pass. But um for me I think it's 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 at its sweet spot now. When you see some of the maps that are coming down the line are about to come out. You know, Moss Valley for me, I'm super hyped for that coming out and things like that. Um Bored a bit, need a new spark, not a new mower. <laughs> not a new mower. Right, we're 85%. Let's pop the uh, auger out. Let's see if we can get unloaded here. A nice red with Richard Weston to match uh, Chef's Massey as well, like that. A nice straight edge here as well, so I can just about get away with it. You not get any further away, Chef? Is that your problem there, mate? Tell you what then, let's stop. And I will cut in slightly. So you can there we go. Let him get unloaded. I got you, Chef. Um I'm still here, FSG, you're, you're our honorary FS job. Thanks, Kaiser. We've got things like BB's Herefordshire map on the horizon. That's going to demand a lot of attention. That looks phenomenal. I, I hope he gets it finished in time. Um, I think when Moss Valley comes out, we'll be playing a lot more. Yep, I think uh, that does look phenomenal. Moss Valley, I'm excited for that too. Got a few plans for that. Um, Still enjoying playing solo and MP. You're right, the game is mature. Yeah. This is, I remember doing in, and it's quite nice being on the realism server actually here tonight, is, um, look at that cute attractors in my mirror. Do you see that? Um, is the fact that uh, you can do a realism series. You've got all of the kind of realism mods now. So you can really go to town on a just driving in cab kind of doing everything by the book approach which is cool looking forward to bulls gap coming to 22 i'm not sure it's gonna now sim guy um i am not sure about it we shall see it was talked about a while back but uh well sniper it'd be nice for a new game but we have lots to do with all the new the problem with the new game is right we'll hit that reset button and and actually the first six months of fs22 were kind of horrible because all of the kind of desperados who just wanted mods didn't matter why aren't there any mods uh, kind of spoil it a little bit so uh, but they're the kind of guys that will play for three or four weeks and then never come back so you know that's not really the core audience and I, I think us guys that sit and understand there's a bit of a process to go through I'd love to see giants doing a little bit more to give modders a heads up as to how to do things in the new game or less or less changes so that actually you could have um, you could have mods from day one maybe you can use FS22 mods in the next version of the game but with the, maybe that you know whatever's changed in the game like texture updates or subtleties that you need to do to them aren't like big updates I don't know I don't know I'm not a modder so somebody like Days who's in here will be able to give us a bit of a an idea of you know if that's even feasible or or it, I guess it depends on what they what they want to change in the game what they change to the engine really that usually drives the changes doesn't it? look at that one two is that three four tractors trailing me you can get does bots on day so as long as you know the right people How will transferring the likes of the contract series work on the new game if using the same maps? A good question, Kaiser Soze, and I don't know the answer to that. Probably it won't. Um, I think it will be a case of uh, thinking about what we do next. Might have to 
think of a different map to start with. We'll take a little break for a while and then return it. We'll see. We'll see. Play it by ear. They barely give modders a heads up to start with. There's no documentation for anything. All learning from others on YouTube. That's true. Although that the book is out now. The modding book is out. Um, hallelujah to that. Oh, pay attention. Even Keith, how are you? Nice to see you. I would like to see them. Yeah. Um, give give modders a real framework to build mods by that would be that would be brilliant um there is a you know specific way if you want your mods on the mod hub this is what you need to do because you can't test you can't test um console mods and i think this is what puts a lot of modders off doing console mods is the fact that you don't know what's wrong with it until you give it to giants for them to test because there's no kind of real method for testing um console mods the other big thing i'm excited about and i really hope it makes a big difference to the game is um they're going to drop support for ps4 and xbox one so it is going to be new gen consoles and pc only which i think will hopefully open up a little bit more flexibility we shall see we shall see nice dutch I think you, you do, you find a sweet spot, don't you? I, I'll be honest. I can't really remember. Like, my core, I've got, I don't know, 15, 20 core mods um, sitting in my folder I use in every game. And then on top of that is vehicle mods. So the, the, the last mod that I downloaded, which is brand, like a new mod that I haven't used before, was the... Um, the new Bale trailer, the Richard Weston Bale trailer they used in, uh, in um, the contractor last week. Um, I think, uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's coming out in the mod hub at the moment, which I'm like, don't need it. Almost got my sweet, sweet uh, chunk of mods in there that I don't need to worry about. Time saving stock check is one of the, no, that's actually the 21st mod that I use. <laughs> oh Mark I'll never live that one down will I even though it got its own video and wasn't out when I did my top 20 mods vid the first one uh, <laughs> um, Dazza I have seen the Thrustmaster Simtask farm stick I think I might get it what do you think of the farm stick I pointing at farm stick on my desk in front of me that you can see in the camera underneath mine um i love mine it's totally changed the way i play it took me a few weeks for the muscle memory to not make me reach over to my keyboard to do certain things um but between that and a, a mixture of that and sim dashboard and i am running the sim dashboard tonight as well Look, i'll just show you that i'm running the class sim dashboard there it is so uh, between the two of them, it's an awesome setup. But I would, I, for me, and I'm not just saying this as a as a Thrustmaster partner. Um, I think it's brilliantly well made, very customizable. You've got a lot of buttons on it. Um, it's, it feels nice to use, um, and uh, yeah, I would. I, and it and it's sensibly priced. Can I say that as well? Less than a hundred bucks, pounds, whatever, for such a functional piece of kit is pretty good. So if you've already got a steering wheel as well, and you don't want to buy a whole set so that, you know, I guess with the other brands that um, it's a pack at the moment and they don't sell them separately like the joystick, um, you end up kind of investing in a wheel that A, you don't either want or don't need um, just so you can get a joystick. Whereas I think with the, with the farm stick, you can just buy what you need, which is great. Um, so I would recommend it and I would also recommend buying it direct from Thrustmaster <laughs> and using the code the farm sim guy when you buy it at checkout because it goes towards helping the channel as well so there you go there you go right we're going how are we doing oh crikey I'm on 77% already hey, and we haven't done one headland yet and we've got all of that look at the uh, look at the tram lines the guys have done on those as well fantastic uh, Wyatt, what are my graphics settings? Uh, everything on maximum. 
and some over maximum. So I've gone into the game XML and uh, ramped up my view distance to 400% as well, which is probably why I'm only getting a few uh, percent uh, or a few uh, frames dropped here. Let's see how much further we can go here. Have I mounted it? I do. I I bought a um, I bought a bracket. You can, in fact, you can just probably see it um, in front there. Oh, that's a bolt that's just fallen for. But that bracket there clamps to the desk and it, it sits it just below. Um, so, in fact, tomorrow night um, there is a video of my current setup because I've changed it around today as well. Oh, well, this week. So I've got uh, an additional screen now so I can see lots of stuff above me. I can see my... OBS and I can see Discord and I can see the vid um, streaming, I actually can see the channel streaming there, I can see all your chat there as well, so um, let me see if I can 90% Tanner put the brakes on mate because I can't I don't want, oh, oh we can go around this corner actually Yo. I'll just put the pipe out, Tanner can worry about whether or not it's going in the trailer. There we go, looking good though. Looking good. Do I know of any good Canadian 4X maps? Um, Trying to think now. Yo, all done. Hey, Jamie, happy Wednesday, mate. 26 months, bud. Jeez. So, Stevie C, how are you, mate? Never use Simple Inspector. That is up... Oh, where is Simple Inspector? It's not here, is it? One of the few that I'm not uh, seeing. I'm surprised. Usually have Simple Inspector on a on a multiplayer map every time. Uh, but I am looking down the bottom corner. I can see it there as well. Shellbrook. There you go. Thank you, Kvist. Good call. I was trying to rack my brains in. I could only think of uh, standardised maps. There are a couple out there, though. FS19 on Purbeck Valley and a course play tutor. That is going back, Jamie. Purbeck Valley was my first ever series. It was my first ever video, in fact. It was my first episode of Purbeck Valley. Kind of mad, isn't it? I need to go back and have a look at it. I've not watched that for a while. Uh, the bracket came from uh, Amazon, Dazza. It was just, uh, just look for a hot ass uh, uh, mount for a joystick. It was, I would say, off the top of my head, I think it was about 30 or 40 bucks. Um, so, yeah. And it, it wor it's worked way better than having it. It's too high on the desk. It's too high up, so it doesn't feel quite um, natural. So when it's dropped down a little bit... Uh, when are those farm sticks in stock? When, when you lot stop buying them as soon as they, they get back in stock, I think. I don't know when. I, I don't have any information. Um, but I do know that Thrustmaster will stock their own store before they go out to their suppliers. So um, I would keep your eyes peeled on the Thrustmaster site. I, of course, as soon as I know, will put something in Discord or uh, on my socials so you know what's coming. Um, but I know... Um, I know a few people, so Yoss Modding got one last time. Um, Mrs. Sim Gaming got one. Uh, and a couple of other... Whoa, 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 whoa. I've done an argsy. I've got to put my pipe away. If you know what I mean. I'm talking about um, this week's... <laughs> I'm talking about this week's Aussie Farms episode. But... This is true. I did not drive into a river. Dave, 
a, the heavy equipment is you know I know a lot of people that still swear by it and I used it for a long time with absolutely no hassles I would say in terms of kind of production values uh, the, the farm stick is a, is a big step up <clears throat> Hogsy's pipe hi all hey cranky There we go, right. Just about to get around to the headland. I think we'll run to check with Hamish actually. Hamish was just gonna do a headland each. Two headlands is enough to turn, isn't it? Cool. Are you gonna set up a course or do you want me to? I might pop a GPS on. Or we can wing it. Kelland with 50. Read it, people. 50 memberships. Thank you, buddy. That is... That is... And J-Mac with the super chat as well. Thank you, my friend. That is very kind of you. I think everybody in here is going to be... Uh, Everybody in here is going to be a member by then. Chris D, got one, I love it. It's great as long as you don't have your PSE side console at hand. Good. Way to go, Kellen. That is uh, above and beyond, mate. Thank you very, very much. And this is a guy who's put many, many hours in on the comp server as well. So he must be, uh, he must be feeling, uh, feeling the love for new servers. I know I'm going to have to rack up some servers. <laughs> Thank you, Kellen. That is awesome. And thus we can... I'd see, I'd see what you're doing. I know what you're doing. Thank you, J-Mac. You're a legend. Appreciate you, buddy. Right, I am going to put a GPS on, I think, just because um, it'll allow me to uh, pay a little bit more attention to the chat. There you go, guys. You can get access to the servers now and have a play. We've got court farms running. We've got... Um, what else have we got going? Hopefully, Moss Valley in the, in the not-too-distant future. Away! Just nudge that out of the way, shall we? Right. Let's pop this here. I'll um, just run to here. Who's... Uh, Tanner. Tanner going rogue there. Oh, but one. <laughs> Poor Dutch missed out. Tim. How are you doing, mate? Nice to see you. Mr. Maslin. Always nice to see you. Right. Um, I need to pay attention for a minute. Yeah, I am on hold here waiting for a trailer. Thank you, Amy. God, if Tony. How are you, mate? Nice to see you. Pipe away. Thank you, Cranky. <laughs> I can just look. I'll look out my window and I can see it then. There we go. Look out my window and then I'll uh, make sure I put it away. Put your pipe away. It's always rude. I see a mug on the feed. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Hope you're good. What's the mod at the top of the speedo? That is uh, enhanced vehicle, guys. It's got a bit of an overlap as well. We've got some... Uh, Got some uh, overlap. Watching a documentary with the wife. That's all right. Cardiff Tony. We know that you know the rule on the server. Happy wife, happy life. Right. We'll do up and downs. Uh, where is Hamish? Hamish, I think I'll come back and run down this edge. And then, because it'll open up into more of a field after that, won't it? Just don't want to crash into you. Right, let's see what I can do here. Don't show those hours, yes. <laughs> yes, don't show that spreadsheet. What goes on on the server stays on the server. 
busy um i know that word busy is the word tim but it all in the best possible way so i can't complain i'd rather be busy than not when i'm running my own business right i can do all this from sim dash so gps on set a point have i got an a line let's find out i'm gonna have to jump out of cab just to check that i have i uh, didn't put my pipe away cranky look at that right there we go so set our a and b point so let's do this probably far enough now do that uh, i want to show my lines please so i can just see what's what oh hamish is just going rogue he's just going rogue that width let me just check that looks cushy right with that in mind um turn it on and uh bob's your uncle other than i've got a row of shame because i didn't line myself up properly but there we go we'll come back that inside that pipe <laughs> you're making up for something <laughs> so dazza good question because there's so many new members here um basically what you need to do is get onto the Discord server, connect your YouTube account and your Discord account. So there's a little video that explains how to do that in the multiplayer server info there. You can sort that in there. Once they're connected, it will check and recognise that you're a member and, uh, and that it will sync you and it will unlock all the multiplayer server channels so you can have a look at them then. The row of shame because I'm watching. I know, no, not Tim. Tim, would I do that to you? Would I upset you like that? Look, it was uh, it was a spur of the moment thing. DJ Goham, there he is, the man, the myth, the legend. How are you, Tim? How are you, DJ? Uh, sorry, I'm looking at Tim. So, DJ. DJ will be in PAX this week. I don't know who's going to go and see him. Um, Yoss said he flew out today as well, so that's kind of cool. Good to see the crew representing. I kind of wish I was there, to be honest, but you know what? Can't do everything. So hopefully they'll have a great time. It's looking quite interesting this year. And... Go lower down, get lined up. You would go up, but you've got to play in Logan League. On the plane, th are you? Cool. Technology's great, isn't it? FS25 announcement of PAX. I think it's not a big enough event to do that. But you never know. You never, never know. I'm doing Royal Highland Show in June. I am indeed, Mark. Yes, 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 yes. So, uh, Looking forward to that, for sure. DJ Who. Good evening, Granny. Nice to see you. Well, it's technically not a row of shame when it's this fat. It's the worst. Oh well, there's a, do you want me to save this uh, path for you? Track for you? Alright. I think they'll save the FS25 announcement for fuck I think if there is going to be an FS25 announcement i think we'll know about it soon and i think we'll see our first uh stuff whoa let me just concentrate for a second while i just line up here and sort out hamish is uh, slightly wonky 
slightly wonky setup. Um, see, I'm still remembering my uh, buttons here. Guidance is on. Jump, jump. You're on the wrong lane. Wrong lane. Come on, move over. Yes, that's what I wanted. Guidance on. Won't get lined up. Follow Hamish's lead. Oh, I forget that the wheels on this combine are quite twitchy, so you've got you can't turn into a lane very easily. There we go. Okay, we're good to go. Slalom. If we get to the end of April and there's no news, I would be very surprised. Not that I know anything, and I that is genuine. I do not know what the score is, but um, based on previous, I think the fact we've seen no um, DLCs and things like that, I would probably expect there's going to be some no noise at some point. Right, I'm at forty percent. You use VCA for GPS now instead of guidance steering. Yes, Dave, very good on single player. Not as good on multiplayer, I don't think, because you can't save the track, so you can't share it. Um, I did like the old Ford Dutch. Yes, loving the old Fords at the moment. We all know you know nothing. <laughs> Me and Jon Snow, we know nothing. We know nothing. Don't even know when Thrustmaster are going to have uh, farm sticks back in, so... How useless am I? No worries, Tim. Thanks for hanging out, mate. Good to see you, as always. Look after yourself. Either that or Farm Sim Kids are taking... Oh, I've got a vid lined up for Farm Sim Kids. Can't wait. Hang on. Right, Hamish, let me... Hamish, let me uh, let me give you this... Uh, for you, this... Um, course. Get to the end of the row here, and I will let Hamish have this. Let him have it. I am on my farm, but I can move if you want. Uh, let's call it... No tractor farm. Track name, let's call it Field 60. 60 combine times two. Yo, Bosch. There we go. All sorted. Well, I think I can turn my lines off now. Can't I? Go. Go how far down? I think I could go all the way down, actually. Take a guesstimate. Go. I'll let Mark go past as well. Take care, Dutch. Thanks for hanging out, mate. Spencer Ricks, I was able to buy a farm stick today from their website in the US. Tell me you put the farm sim guy in the uh, in the box at checkout. Oh, Mrs. Prof. Knew I could count on you. Knew I could count. I was thinking about you this week, watching the uh, watching the launch of the rocket. I thought, I know somebody who enjoys a, a rocket launch. I'm probably going to regret that. Should have gone a bit further down. Or oh, we're doing a bit of a wobble here. Look at it. See how much it twitches to you. There you go, people. Thank you, Spencer. You're a legend. No worries. Thanks, Hamish. All right. I'm on, fi I'm on five at the moment, so what? You're going to go up to eight? Roger that. There we go. Thank you, well. Thank you, everybody. Um, it's a good day. It's a good day. We've got um, we've got caps as well. Farm sim the farm sim guy .co .uk. 
Farmer Sim, you do you, mate. You've got to, got to, got to balance it out. I'm not jealous at all. You spent the whole day making vids on Farm Sim. That would be a dream at the moment. <laughs> uh, have a good mate. Enjoy your evening. Say hi to Mrs. Farmer Sim as well, and uh, we'll catch up soon, dude. Good to have you here. Right now, now we're in business. Now we're gonna do some farming. Nice, Dave. Dave, yeah, VCA uh, for me. I on single player is hundred percent. Um, Bent. What has happened to American Series? It should be back this weekend. Should be if I get time to record one. Um, it's not gone anywhere. I just have run out of time to get stuff in. So, uh, yes. Worry not. It's not. It's not gone away. Um, and I've written the script, and uh, it's quite an interesting one. So I'm looking forward to recording that. Probably try and get it recorded tomorrow night and then edited. Uh, remember, it's Logging League. Ooh, Logging League is on Saturday, and we're going to a new map as well. So uh, that should be good fun as well. Oh yes, bear with me. I uh, I am, I am trying to fit stuff in around the madness that is uh, work at the moment. Kind of hoping it calms down again a little bit. Oh, I'm close to that tree. I am close to that tree. See how messy I can make this turn in. There we go. Guides on. Ooh. Get lined up. Don't remove any crop. Let's see how badly I've done that. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I've gone down the wrong side. I'm an absolute clown. I should have gone down the other side. And then uh, my pipe would have been available for Amy to uh, pick up. As it is, I'm probably going to run out before I get to the end of the row. I am definitely going to run out before I get to the end of the row. But what I might do now... You own the business now, you don't want it to calm down. That's true. That's true. Just me, my bit calm down. Just for a few weeks. Right, I'm going to cut out here so Amy can come and pick up. Roger, mate. I'll do that. I'll let, uh, I'll let Amy unload me and then I'll go back to the start. The concept of lands was clearly lost on me. Just dip my head out the window. Yep, yeah, there we go. Oh, sorry, Amy. Not far enough back. There we go. A nice farm tech trailer, that, isn't it? Work, FS22 and farm life balance all important. <laughs> yes. Not a lot of the old balance going on at the moment, but as Mark says, it's a, it's a good thing. What no train line to crash into the, at the finish. <laughs> I feel I need to shut up about the work thing. I'm like a broken record. So I will not say it anymore. Everybody's busy. Everybody's busy at work. Uh, right, what are we doing here, Amy? You go. You go. I'll give you a bit more space to... No, I won't. I'll just go backwards now. Go. It's quite fun driving this in the in the cab. Go. Right, try again. Whole concept of lands is you always have your pipe on the outside. Not what I did. There we go. Looking good. Good job, nose behind. I was looking in the mirrors, Mark, I think. I was looking in the mirrors, it was all good.
it's an art form staying in in cab and being accurate with your fields is a bit of a challenge i quite like it i don't do it very often so uh, it's nice to set myself the the challenge of trying to do it all in uh, all in cab i think hey it's the thought that counts mark it is the thought that counts. So yes, this weekend, uh, logging league Saturday night, um, on on dear dear something. <laughs> I can't remember. Oh, dear Valley, and uh, yeah, probably contract to US on Sunday. Tanner's away, and then we'll try and get a contract to UK episode squeezed out somewhere it might, might, might do an extra vid on the Monday we'll see how we do oh dear Benelin nothing yet no no news at all from Giants Towers I think you would know about it if a trailer had been released if you're a if you're a fan of the series it will be everywhere dear lands thank you sharp farmer I know you know because you've been practicing on it all week I'm sure and then a four-day weekend, yes! Looking forward to that. <laughs> oh, thanks, Mrs. Prof. Very kind of you. Very kind of you. Oh, Tanner's back. We had 90 new members tonight. 90 new members. Um, so, if you missed it before, jump on to the... Um, Jump onto the Discord, make sure your YouTube channel and your Discord are linked, and you can um, you can play on some of the servers as well. Right, pop the uh, pipe. Somebody ran alongside me there. Chris, you're looking for a... With IC and open all hatches, I know one. Drop me a DM, Chris. That sounds like my kind of combine. I'm interested in that. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to hit the like button as well. We've got 74 likes and 128 watches. So if you hit the like button, it just helps. Just helps the channel, helps people find it, things like that. So I would appreciate that. Now, I do like this mod. I don't know what mod this is, but you see when, the, um, see when Amy's alongside me here, I can see how much is in the trailer there with that little icon at the bottom. That is very cool. I do like that. Need some new servers setting up. Yes, hit the like button so we can set some new servers up. It costs you nothing. Doesn't mean you're going to get spammed with anything, but it does help the channel. Likewise, if you're not subbed, hit the... Uh, hit the sub button as well. Only 50% of people that watch my vids are subscribed which I thought was quite interesting. So, uh, there you go. Oh, what Hamish did there, I cut in so we could have learned right. right. Trailer fill limit, I do like that mod. Big fan of that. Mark, how are you doing? Another Mark. Mark Kirkhoff, how are you? I know Brett, right? a lot of oh I don't know why I'm telling people to sub to the channel I've get to get to a hundred thousand subs Mr Yanar has got some sort of behemoth of a challenge sitting where a potato trailer fill level yeah like it never seen that before you know you learn something new every day don't you right here's we're gonna play a game now speaking of that mods that I've never seen before no potatoes mark um, mod that isn't in the game yet that you would like to see either for this game or for the next one just something that nobody's come up with yet that has to be achievable so don't say deformable ground because that would require a whole rewrite of the but what mod do you think is missing that you would like to see in game shoot Big Baz how are you mate nice to see you
Hellhawk, nice to see you as well. Being able to buy the same tractor config you already own. Yes, that's a good one, Chris. I do that. If I'm buying two tractors, if I'm setting up a farm, I do that. I uh, tend to tend to hit the buy button. You have to hit it like three times in a row. So you get three tractors with the same spec rather than... Uh, rather than uh, having to re put and in, input the information all the time. Realistic mirrors. I've got realistic mirrors on this combine. Look at them. Very good. Oh, pipe was already out. I was putting it out. Amy, uh, I'm running at six miles an hour if you want to put crews on. Just, just so you know. Rain through the year that would affect crop yield. I like that one as well. That is a nice one. So I, I always think there's something you could do that the performance of the crop is impacted by uh, by weather or something. Bosch leap sprayer and a fent regator. Search on the mod hub proper. Peas, pea viner, nice one. Love it. Potato pack 2.0. Very achievable once I pull my finger out. Good man. Stop buying Fords then. You don't need to. Stock check on console. Nice. A 23rd best mod on console. Seasons. Real seasons. <clears throat> More mods related to organic and GMO. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice. Farm supply contracts, variable seed and fertilizer costs, yeah. Mod conflict warning system. Interesting, yeah, nice, Stevie. Make the AI better would be good. Insects that damage the fields and less sprayed, nice, you could add that, couldn't you? A mod that forces FSG to drive a class tractor. <laughs> Have nothing against class, I love class combines and forage harvesters. Crop types based on region. I do like the um, I like the I Chris to build on your one about um, variable seed and fertilizer costs. An MRG tried to do it with uh, one of his maps, and it I think he almost nailed it. But buying different types of seed, maybe based on the different soil types and things like that. I don't know. Could be something. Real time weather for your local location. I think that's a nice one too. But I, I'd love to see some kind of integration with real world. We've talked about it with prices, haven't we? In fact, we've got the prices one on here. So, um, yeah. Saran, nice to see you. How are you? Bulk buy discounts. Yeah, that's a good one. Dozer, how's it going, mate? Nice to see you. Glove box. Ground to frew, froze to till, ground to wet to till, nice. Like that, and it could damage your machine as well if it's frozen. You break your tines and things like that. Like the idea of that. Oh. Amy's away. What mod can I get on the Xbox for realistic mod? Probably nothing, I'm afraid. Um. There is a realistic mud mod, but it is for PC only. Wish I could load in modes when and how I like during... What do you mean by that, Joram? Modes. Or mods. Modes or mods. Changing fields to paddocks, no tiny placeable pens for 50k. Yes. Yes. I, I would love to have drawable. You could draw around the shape of a field, and that became your uh, that became your pasture. Then that would be nice. Mods. I got you, Jonathan. So you, you don't have to log out of the game to switch another mod on. You could just maybe select a mod, and then um, maybe you'd need to re you'd have to do a kind of refresh or a reload. But you could do it in game. Sheepdog mod. That would be good. Love that. <laughs> cranky <laughs> real time weather it would just be uh, yes yeah, too wet to do anything 
realistic. No worries, mate. You are you are more than welcome to get on with your stream. Don't have to apologise, mate. It's nice to have you here. Good, you could make it. I appreciate it. Vehicle hider, so you don't have to tap through them all. High harvest went out of season. Well, you can. You can park park vehicle mod that exists. That technically does that. Worth checking out that one. There's one. No freezing of the game on MP when another player joins. Now, I think it's going to be hard to get rid of that altogether. Um, but uh, maybe. Maybe they'd improved it massively from 19 to 22, so they could go again. J-Mac, good to see you, buddy. No part vehicle on consoles, of course, yet. Yeah. That is a script mod. There we go. Okay, there we go. It's off. And sim dash, because if I turn it by wheel, it throws it out of sync. He was just saying on the chat there, he's like, functional mirrors, every farmer, and I, I totally concur with this, every single tractor I've ever got in, all the mirrors are broken. Every single tractor. When they drop all gen consoles, things will move on dramatically. FS25. Oh, I am not switched on. There we go. The ability to move animals physically to other... That would be nice, wouldn't it? You could open a gate and open a second gate and the cows would just walk from one field to the other. I would love to see that. That would be good. Bumps and Freak, nice to see you. More specs of tractor, different equipment needs different hydraulic flow rate. Ooh, that's quite nice. A whole hydraulic system would be good. I do like the idea of that. You need mirrors to be a full sim experience. Yeah. It can be done though, right? Again, look, this is this is this is pretty good. Mirrors wise. But so many of them aren't done, are they? Or don't work very well. Hotkeys for specific that'd be nice, setting up hotkeys so you could just jump like click click a key and jump into a different Vehicle, I do like the idea of that. Very nice. Old gen consoles are definitely getting dropped for the new game since they're holding back the game. You could get 4x maps for a new game and could run some. I think we will see. I do think we will see um, 4x maps for uh, for consoles. That would be uh, that would be exciting. I think in the next in the next game. Fifty nine percent we're on. The mirror mod as well, yeah. Oh, that is a good one. Right. Big H is here, let's give him some soybeans. I'm sixty two percent in the tank. What does everything think of Argsy's new mod? Yes, if you missed the start of the stream, Argsy has had his first cross platform mod released. And it's really, really good. You basically can put bale or pallet storage in any shed now which is really really good no worries enigma thank you for hanging out mate really good to see you um xenox how are you doing nice to see you mate more detail around repairs kind of like the realistic damage mod but in more detail yeah i think that's a limitation i think he's done the best he can with that mod but i think what you've got now is a is a limitation for the the ui i think you if you wanted to do things like actually replace parts and things like that, we would need changes to the game. Um, per Ulf Adolfson, I downloaded it. It is great. There you go. The ability to move my view in cab so I can see my forks and depth perception of tools like this Hellhawk. You can look over your uh, thingamajig.
Do I want to turn on sticky keys? No, I don't. Pressing too many buttons at once, there. Depth perception is an issue, and I don't know how you fix that. Um, that's always an issue. Yeah, yeah. That is realistic cab view, Hellhawk. It's a good one. By friend of the channel, Loki. I don't know if he's in tonight, but uh, maker of many, many uh, a good mod. Thank you, Keith. All the best, mate. Yeah, see you Saturday. Oh, good. You're coming for, coming for logging league. Glad to hear it, mate. And Kellen's off too, mate. Thank you for the 50 gifted. That was above and beyond. Above and beyond. Yeah, just hold the shift key, Hellhook. <laughs> That's all you need to do, mate. Is all you need to do. And thanks for all your work on the uh, on the multiplayer, on the champ, and the competition server, mate. You uh, put some serious hours in there. All the best, Scott. Thank you, buddy. Nice to see you. Taking a risk this close to the end of the row, but uh, jump to there. We can see what we've done. We jump back. Slick top, how are you, mate? Nice to see you. It's been a while. Doing well. Doing well. Now, let me guidance off. Header raised. down blow myself down a bit because I was doing full gas there go guidance on oh look at that inch perfect yeah hit that like button folks helps get the channel there we go up to 102 already thank you Hellhook and if you weren't here at the start of the uh stream as well baseball caps are now available working recording videos life you know how it is i do indeed mate i do indeed right let's uh, am i still pipe out i am still pipe out what happened to the island in field 60 it's a good question i think it might have been removed Fencing mod. Post lump thing on the back of tractors to allow us to place fences when where you want them. That's nice, Mark. I like the idea of that as well. There's a bit of pumps and hoses in that, isn't it? You could unravel. You can unravel your. Uh, you can unravel your. Uh, um, your wire between each of the posts and stuff. Keeping an eye on Big H. He's just running alongside me nicely there. I am Brad as I've just started playing the game recently and your vids are very helpful. Thanks, man. You are welcome. I know what it's like when I started, so um that's kind of always come up with come at it with that mentality when I'm when I'm doing sort of tutorial stuff and things like that to try and try and think if I was starting out and I needed some help what would i what would i need to see that's kind of my mentality when i do my tutorials and things like that so um i appreciate it man better use vehicle sales or car boot style farm sales <laughs> that would be nice wouldn't it yeah repairs defenses farm buildings drainage etc yep i agree with that one too and uh, repairs, infield repairs as well. For vehicles would be great. 
<laughs> realistic. Funny you should say that, mate. Um, that's tomorrow night's vid. I recorded it the other night. I, I was thinking about how can I didn't have content for Thursday, um, and it was actually quite a quick one. Just fired up the GoPro and uh, and ran around the studio with it. So, uh, so yeah, that's that's tomorrow's vid. So let me know. So let me know off the back of that what you think. I was kind of hoping that I would have my new seat in time for doing a studio, but I'll, I'll do a set. I'll do another one when the vid, when the seat arrives. But uh, we shall see. Oh, a little bit of a wee lag spike there. So no worries. No worries. They should add hemp as a new crop. I don't think they're going to do that. Um, I think that would impact their uh, their universal rating. Rofter, nice to see you, mate. How are you? Been a while. Proper Bible wheels in the next FS. Hmm. American Contract Series. Uh, hopefully this weekend, mate. Hopefully this weekend. I am getting uh, a tractor seat currently being made for me with a with an arm that I can bolt the Thrustmaster stick to. Uh, met the guy at Lama. He provides um, tractor seats. Um, so they are making me a custom one, which is exciting. Um, so it's going to be fixed, full suspension, all of that stuff. Can't wait. Can't wait. Oh, where's Hamish going with the combine? I'm excited. It's, it's probably a few months away from being made yet, but or, or being delivered. But I will definitely do a video on that because I'm very excited about it. What is Hamish doing? Oh, it's a third combine. Gotcha. I'm trying to find out what I can show you the wheel actually. Let me see if I can find it um, on my phone here. Right before I get to the end of the. Uh, Let me turn around and I'll have another look. <laughs> Too much stuff to do. Pressing buttons. This way, that way, t'other way. Down. Try and get lined up. Nice and neat. Put my sim dash uh, screen up on screen as well, shouldn't I? I've not done that for a while. Do that again very soon. Kegarino is in the house. How are you doing, buddy? Could we see a YouTube short? See, it is a grammar. Let me press this button here. I have got that. See if we can. In fact, hang on. We can go to that and I can do that get out of the way of my uh, I'm getting one of them and see where it's got their logo at the top and they're putting my logo in it gonna be awesome in fact Mark Haythornthwaite was with me in uh, at Lama and when we were chatting to the guy um, so we uh, we were sitting on them and said we were saying wouldn't it be brilliant if we could do this and then uh, so I just started chatting to the guy said, do you build one of those and then showed showed him the channel and stuff like that and he was like oh we could do something with you so it was awesome so I can't, I can't wait can't wait to see what happens with it 
air suspension yeah so it's going to be nice and bouncy as well so i can actually create my own i'll be it'll be force feedback created by me bouncing up and down on it like a child from a bouncy castle so we'll see how that goes still in conversations about specs and how we build it and things like that but uh, we'll see where we get to with it but good fun stuff like that's good fun enjoy that Um. Pedro thank you mate Cody Bird seems like it was yesterday I was watching your Flint Hill series man how time flies well done on your content making FSG thank you man that's, that is very kind of you that is very kind of you I, I've loved the whole experience it's just become this bizarre thing that kind of is slightly uh, surreal still. Sassy Bergeson has finally received his farm tick. Awesome man, that's tremendous. You have to get him to allow orders when it, I, I said to him, I said, I tell you, if you open this up as a thing, you would sell loads of these. You should spot it to one of the suspension platforms you could get for racing. Yeah, if only, if only Farm Sim would feed that info back, but it would be good. Hey, Yorkshire Dano, how are you doing, mate? It's sunning himself in Lanzarote. Not bad if you can get it, right? Not bad if you can get it. So, while we're going here, I'm just going to. Um, oh, something else. As well as caps, I'm just talking randomly. So as well as these, um, if there's enough interest from people, and I'll probably put a little bit of a poll out for this, but there's other stuff that I would like to like sell exclusively as well on the website. One is these hoodies. So embroidered hoodies with sponsor logos, Logging League, Farm Sim, Giants Partner, all of those things on. Um... I need to know gauge kind of what people would like to pay for them because they're not that cheap to produce but if people want them I can certainly get them produced and the other one is how far am I from the end of the field because um, I got these made the other week and they've just arrived let me just check how far I am I have got enough time right let's go to here to check this out soft shell work jackets fully embroidered if I can get it in the right place. Heli Hansen as well. Not me, none of your cheap stuff here. We're going big. FSG logo. There. Logging league here. So we'll get proper soft shell. It's warm. Fleecy on the inside. Waterproof on the outside. Um, Really, really quality is outstanding. So, uh, yeah. If there's enough, again, enough interest in those. I'm... Uh, I'm down for getting some made, if you want to buy them, but we'll leave them as it. Nice and sunny in Vancouver last few days. Nice. Finnish Farmers in. How are you doing, mate? Nice to see you. Have you seen the German company who makes kits for from extruded aluminium to mount the farm stick to all major brands of gaming chair? Nice. My only my only concern with that is, um, what happens if you if you're so one of the specs I'm doing with my uh, what am I doing here? Right up here. Um with my seat is making it um, not you can't spin it and you can't move it it's going to be fixed in position because let's be honest when you're playing the game you don't need it to spin and things like that because if there's a cable running from your farm stick and you spin round oh, pressing the wrong buttons if you spin round or you wheel yourself backwards to get out of your seat uh, you're going to end up with a with a bit of a mess 
as you pull the cable out of your farm stick and it costs you 100 quid every time you uh, st every time you uh, you move so um I've, I've i've got mine when it's in place it's in place and you basically lift the armrest up slide into the seat put the armrest down Harry Lagman, I don't know why they can't make a steering wheel on a farm stick for console. There'll be a reason. I don't know what it is, but there'll be a reason. I think it's inputs, isn't it? The input bindings. Now, you can get... Um, um, there are some wheels that are PS4 compatible. Um, but... Uh, I don't, I don't know what the reason to one of those should work I think it's I think it's an input thing as well MRV I yeah I agree with you G20 yeah G29 works on um, in fact I've got the new Thrustmaster load cell pedals which you'll see in tomorrow night's video uh, and they're PS4 compatible they're PlayStation and Xbox compatible so pedals pedals are not an issue and that certain wheels aren't an issue either in fact I think the the G248 that I'm using is um, is PlayStation compatible as well but G uh, yeah G29 works the old farm stick works on PlayStation it doesn't work on Xbox for some reason and again certain ones will work on certain so Xbox oh, I've done it again I'll leave my pipe out the whole time and then somebody rolls up alongside me and put it away you know the rules. Don't leave your pipe out. We are a long way from getting this finished. <laughs> T2448. I think the 248 does work on uh, PlayStation. Yeah. It's the. I think it's the two. If you if you've got a steering wheel and a joystick plugged in, there aren't enough keybinds on a console for it to work. Uh, they could, Harry. Yeah, that's not out with the uh, question either. Realize I have. Yeah, the Mozza wheel. Um, it looks good. It does look like a truck wheel. It doesn't look like a tractor wheel. But then again, I'll, this looks like a racing wheel. So nobody's actually made a tractor tractor wheel yet, have they? Get a side tech. Okay, you're going old school. Nice. Is the you know what? Sorry, what was that, mate? What do I think to the muzzle? Muzzle wheel, I think is. I think it's, I mean, quality wise, I think it's really well built. Um, I've not. Uh, I've not seen it in person. Um, jury's out to be honest I, I can't really comment on it Steve C I bought a cheap one from game that works on PC and PS I do think you you certainly I know Thrustmaster have got a load of stuff that works on on uh, PS4 so um, I don't think there's any issue with finding wheels that work <laughs> Look how little we've done of this field. What do you reckon? A little bit more than a quarter, maybe a quarter of the field, and we've been going for an hour and a half. Scary. So, oh, actually, I should say that Thrustmaster do a bundle now, so you can buy the clamp, the wheel, or a choice of wheels and the farm stick all together, um, as as a pack, which is quite nice. The only place you get a pack. If you're getting a seat, you just need to find an old John Deere cab now. <laughs> I don't think that would go down very well. That would be the point at which I uh, uh, would have to move it to someone else. Thank God you only had three to four hours on the comp server. 
<laughs> I did a lot of ploughing on the comp server. Bet you use the Wizard of the Colossus pack. This is a realistic server, so I'm not sure the Colossus would uh, would pass the uh, mod requirements. Four ten series, nice. Yo, I have actually just found the perfect sweet spot for my uh, my wheel. I've got enough spring in it. Um, I don't like the force feedback, not because of the wheels. The wheels are more than capable. Uh, unfortunately. Farm sim is a little bit behind the curve with the force feedback. Hopefully that's, that's something I'd like to see improve for, for uh, 25 as well. Getting stronger force feedback through the... Or, or, or more realistic force feedback through uh, through the wheels. Because it's, it's, it's not really a thing at the moment. It's a, it's a gesture. I put the pipe away? No. Just look out the window. good Amy's got the beacons on means business now just depends on what realistic <laughs> realistic as in you're combining with a combine that's a think about where it finishes do I have the class screen on sim dash I do indeed The, uh, the Thrustmaster wheel. There you go. Actually running it twice. But yes, running it and it's uh, it's working a treat. Especially all my guidance steering commands are on there as well. So keep me busy. Wayne Zilly, you can't wait to play FS22 again. You miss it like crazy. That's a big trailer for the south coast. Big fields, big farm, big trailer. Working cameras as well. See the camera in the in the top there. Wouldn't it be good if they? We have got those as work cameras, but they they're not embedded into screens. It would be nice to see them embedded into screens. Working screens as well. Simple IC where you could actually touch screen your touch screens. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Stevie, thanks for uh, joining us, mate. I appreciate it. Class combine, not tractor screen. Yeah, probably wouldn't work if it was a class tractor screen. No, uh, no contracts on FS23. Yeah, that is a bit of frustration, isn't it? Would be amazing in VR. It would, wouldn't it? That's a mod. Does it put does it put it into um, into screens? I know there's the work the work camera mod, or the or the actual working screens mod. There is a working screens mod as well, isn't there? I want all of the things. Yeah, you can change. You can change. You can scroll through them, can't you? Uh, John Deere did John Deere screens, didn't he? Oh, a leg spike there. <laughs> Would 
we have been combining for an hour and a half. Welsh, thanks for hanging out, mate. Good to see you. See you again soon, hopefully. See you again soon. Just I'm listening to the guys chatting about farm sim stuff. In fact, I think I'm going to behave. Disturbed did a video. He did. They also, he, um, he did a vid on the screen that you can put the actual minimap in the in the screen which is good as well isn't it yeah trouble with vr is a lack of ta it's interesting isn't it you would think like sim games would be the prime candidates for vr but it's just not really picked up even like if you think about um sim racing the best experience of sim racing would be in a VR headset. I think headsets are heavy and maybe cumbersome and you know, a lot of people have motion sickness issues with them as well, so I don't really know what the uh, um, I don't really know what the issue is. You should have your FS light in cam view with your joystick at the edge of your desk. I don't know what that means, Hellhawk. Uh, guidance. Let's gun along here at 19 miles an hour, because I don't know how to set this strange cruise control mod the guys have got set up. Oh, the hazard light. Yes, I, I just unplugged it when I was setting stuff up the other day, so I could plug it back in. I need to plug it back in at some point. On. Sorry, Hamish, what's that? Ah, keypad plus and minus, that's not going to work for me on a 60% keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Soon. I've just changed it to 6 miles an hour now, that works better. Also, I've noticed that my cruise control wheel on my um, arm stick, so you know you've got the dial at the top and you can adjust the speed and press it to turn it on, doesn't work with that, with that mod installed. I could rebind it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you could do that one. <clears throat> Stuart Gaither, would I do contractor on a different map? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. I'm potentially thinking about having a little trip to... Uh, a little trip to Moss Valley when it comes out. Um, Sassy, still running the RTX 3070? I am for the gaming PC. I've got a 4090 in the edit suite. Um, I'm certainly not going to upgrade the 3070 for, um, for the gaming PC because um, farm sim, it, uh, the difference between running a 3070 and a 4090 for playing the game is, I would say, almost non-existent negligible so uh so as long as i'm playing a lot of farm sim and then when i do play other games i play them on the edit suite anyway so if i play red dead redemption or something like that i play it on the game on the pc with the 4090 in it so uh i can ramp the graphics right through the roof would that be cool farms you'll be switching to moss valley potentially i'll see i'm not sure if it's a permanent switch or uh um, it will be different, but uh, oh, I hadn't thought about that, Crofter. That's going to bump the prices of flights through. Mark Haythornthwaite. We need to get flights sorted. <laughs> Mark is now currently rolling his eyes. 
roger that, mate. Thank you for that. So a 4080 Super would be fine for editing an FS... Oh, 100%. Like, that would be overkill. Still. The contractor could go visit New Zealand. I know a fellow there with a few farms down there needs a hand. <laughs> yeah. Boy, you're right, he doesn't need a hand. Put some fences up around rivers to start with. Diesel, I'm on it. I'm on it. Hamish just gave me the nod. There's a, there's a, there's a thunder fuel truck at the top, so realistic server and you've got an American fuel truck we need a bit of drama on the contract says what you crazy Charles running around more to come on that professor 62 looks like you're having fun today combining it is therapy I tell you I had a bonkers day today you know those days when you are literally clicked on the video conference in a Teams call this morning and then uh, didn't switch it off till five o'clock. Just one after another after another. So uh, yeah, this is this is quite chill. Quite enjoying this. Mine has already been booked. I thought we were going to... Well, you said we were going to travel together. Oh. Huh. Okay. You have to DM me and tell me what you're on, see if I can get flying it. Or you go from Leeds or somewhere weird like that. You should have a server for console players to join you. I have got a server for console players to join me, JMac. It's called Court Farms. And it's quite busy, actually. There's always a few people on it. In fact, I bet if I check now, there will be some people on it. <laughs> there was a, but there was three on before. <laughs> the local airport is cheaper than Munich FSG semi-finals a week after FarmCon. Ah, but I can't get a flight to the local airport, that's the problem. <laughs> It'll be easy jet from Manchester, more likely than not. Right, I'm going to put some fuel in. get it oh sorry chef didn't see you there look at that what a guy fuel delivery see how close I need to be to fill up here closer than that um, there we go thanks chef Hey, Chef. Piper's in. Thank you, Cranky. As in, we get the same plane. Yes, you need to book it then. <laughs> do we not have... Do we not need key man insurance? If we're on the same flight. Is that a risk? Bob Sim Briscoe. How's it going, mate? Nice to see you. How's things? Thank you, buddy. It's been fun trying to trying to do the realistic thing. I think I've uh, I think I've managed it. I think I've got away with it. I wish they could put a mobility motability scooter mod because I think there is again. I'm not sure if it's on the um, console. I think there is something like that. Farm Sim is good for your blood pressure and frame of mind. It is the most chilled out game in the world. In the world. Um, it is therapeutic, is the word. I think it should be administered to people who are stressed. You can have a great time. Not on console. That is always the challenge, isn't it, Jay Mac? That is always the challenge. Right, there we go. Oh, I've done it again.
So farm in Briscoe. Now we've got him. <laughs> For me, maybe not you. Uh, while you're here, mate, have, uh, can you give the nice people an update on how how things are happening with the Oaks too? Is it still being worked on? Have you got some new ideas for it? Where's it going? It's only not chilled when the bales fall after to doing it manually and then I go to use the CS third pack and it works perfectly. Yes, realistic. I can uh, I can relate to your pain there for sure. Check it dips. <laughs> oh brilliant Mark. Because there are no flights on Thursday. Flights from the UK to Munich. It is daft. How little flights there are. Unless you're going from Manchester. I'm adding new things every day. End up redoing things. Constantly remake ground. Good for you though, man. I, like... Honestly... From this to what you did for Saxthorpe, I'm I am very excited about. Uh, I'm very excited about what it's going to be like. Oh, that's a that's a that's a. I I'm with you, Sassy. It's a great map. Maybe Mark is a private jet. You could borrow. Yeah helicopter over there or something like that that would be good wouldn't it FSB thanks for all you bring to the FS glove well said Hellhawk well said I think that's uh, you speak for everyone when you say that because uh, there are some seriously good maps from the stable of farms in Briscoe Working on Forgotten Lands Homestead. That's a good, a good map. I do like Forgotten Lands. A new seat is ejecting. We'll take. <laughs> hey, it's possible. It's possible. Thirty-nine percent. Have I got a tractor following me? I think I'm on my own at the moment. No pressure. This is this is the most established server I think we've ever had. Um, I think it's really uh, really worked well. This server, not without its hiccups, sorting mods and stuff at the start, but uh, almost finished the last area in Cantley. Just need to rebuild the farmyards, test and good to go. Exciting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you make a good point, Mark. You make a good point. I wasn't piloting it. Hey, Hansen's in. Did more potato harvest on day server. Oh, twitching. Potatoes. People mention potato harvests. Get a little bit uh, twitchy. Take care, Sassy. Thanks for hanging out. Realistic. Um, yeah, Bullet Bill's map is very, very nice. That's a good idea. That's true, Mrs. Prof. I need to get an F. I do. I do. Don't I? I do. I should do that, Args. Or an Argsy gaming one. How are you, mate? Congratulations on the mod release, mate. I, I know I messaged you already, but uh, we were talking about it before. No mean feat getting one of those things onto all platforms, so. I also know how. Uh, how much time uh, you went backwards and forwards and fixed bugs and kept testing it and stuff so uh, fair play to you mate 
Yeah, but we were dating before. We were dating before then, weren't we? Lined up. Let's press the go button. What is off for Easter next weekend? Woo! So have we. Can't wait, a long weekend. I had one of them, I'm gonna have a lie in, I think. Congrats on a right nice mod, Argsy. Oof. Yeah, it was a good, good competition. Hansen's in as well. Fair play to you, mate. You, uh, you led a good team effort on your side. Congratulations. Tip of the, tip of the hat of respect. Pop that pipe away. rows we've got left on that side oh, maybe just the one Memmingen with Ryanair I will do that Croft I'm going to write that down Memmingen although it goes against my rules of flying with the Ryanair unless I absolutely have to <laughs> are the winners of the challenge buying the beers at FarmCon Yes. I I will foot that bill. We're trying to make them enjoy themselves, not poison them. Hamish is saying he'd bring a case of tenants to FarmCon because he's driving. Tenants is basically the Scottish version of Castlemaine 4X. Or Bud Light. <laughs> uh, we're in field 60, Briscoe. The biggie down at the bottom. The carling of Scotland. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the carling of Scotland. <laughs> Not Bud Light. Bud Light's like... weak, horrible stuff in it. The, the losers supply the Scottish water, yes. We should define which Scottish water we want as well, Mark. That's like 130... It feels like 130 acres, mate. It feels like it. Look, we've been going two hours, and I think I think we'll just make half the field in with three combines in two hours. In Scotland, you would put a an SH on the front of light. Seventy seventy odd percent of my god. Yeah, how, how Mark Haythorn thought it. You did this on your own and hold your own trail, hold your own trails. Right. Damn it. I am on 81%. I'm going to need a trailer soon. Tanner's coming to me, though. I think Tanner spots that. And it's coming 
my way. Hopefully. Here it comes. Boom. We're in. Western trailers, loving them. Oh no, we've got another tra two trailers over there as well. We're not sure of trailers tonight. We've been a good crew on. We are rocking three combines at the moment, realistic. Needs two or more. Yeah, we're running three at the moment. It's realistic though, right? It takes us long to get through fields like this. This is why I like 4X maps, because they're they're more akin to a real life size of field. Just to make sure. See, we missed a little bit of crop on the end there. Just the way the, just the way the rear, rear wheels on this combine make it quite twitchy on the turns. No, I've just been Tanner just emptied me, so I've only got six percent in. Couple more up and downs. We're uh, coming up to time, I think. Well, I shall uh, step out of the combine and let somebody else have a play. Um, got me hooked on the Val Valtra tractors. Are great, aren't they? So good. There's a really good Valtra tractor pack in the mod hub, um, which is, I think, predominantly the base game ones with a few tweaks. Really good. Yeah, they're great. Great mods. Great models. Lovely in cab as well. Field 5 is about 127 acres. Field 5, is that? Yeah, I think Field 5 is the biggest on the map, isn't it? So field 5 followed by Field 6. Should tell us if we've got. They've probably got every mod under the sun. It's 50 hectares. 63 or 60 so is bigger than Field 5, yeah. 174 acres. And 134, but I think they've removed a, an island. Did you remove an island from field uh, 60, Hamish? Oh. Oh, yes, yeah. Jan, take care. Thank you for all you did on the server, mate. Congratulations on the win. Take that piece of glory. I enlarge that on an update. Ah, right, there you go. That shows how long it is since I, I remember that from a map tour, I think. Next year we have a big harvester when contracts come in. I love the commitment, Sharp, that you're logging League over packs. That is dedication. It's different now, trust me. You intrigue me, sir. I love the fact that all, every single chat is either a, an admin or a member of the channel now, thanks to all of those gifted subs tonight. So many people can jump on the servers. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Mikhail, thank you, sir. That is very kind of you. Time for bed. Thanks for the stream. Sleep well, my friend. I appreciate 
for the super chat. That is very kind of you. <laughs> I could wear a wig if you want me to. Path of the Raven, you got me into this game. I'm enjoying it so far. Good to hear, mate. That is great. It is uh, a very... <laughs> Sorry, chef. Oh, dear. Glad you were enjoying it. To get an ox more with all the amazing mod tutorials. There you go, mate. You're going to have to sort it. At the moment, the new ox doesn't need a single mod. There you go. 100 new members tonight, that is amazing. Thank you, Jan, for another 10. I didn't actually think there's anybody left, but there appears to be. <laughs> Here we go. <clears throat> Yay, big sky! Fantastic. That's another one. Thank you for uh, purchasing me. I do appreciate that. Disco Drifter, you need to be a member of the channel. <clears throat> and then if you link your Discord handle and your YouTube channel, it syncs with the server and um, you have access to all the multiplayer channels. JMac, it won't be. It's um, it's a 4X map, so it's uh, it won't be for console, unfortunately. Oh, ham and eggs. You've had a... You've had a nightmare, been here since the start, mate, and you've missed all of the uh, gifted subs. What are the chances? Yes, thank you for the thumbs up, everyone. Much appreciated. That is, uh, that's awesome. Ooh, bit of a tank slapper there. Left a few things in the ground. FYI, you do have to allow gifts to get a sub. Click on the top and it will say allow if you haven't already. There you go. Thank you, Strody. Yeah, check that ham and eggs just in case. The Oak 16 x for the next version of FS. Let's go. That's going to be... We're going to lose ourselves in that. Wow. We've got nothing left in the tank. And I think Chef's just going to run alongside us here for a little bit. We've done, we've covered a fair bit here. That is a lot of field cleared, that, isn't it? Go to map. I think we're probably... You count the headlands, we're over halfway. That's not bad at all, is it? Not bad at all. <clears throat> and been very good fun. Very chilled. Good chatting. I think we've talked about lots of old cranky with the five gifted memberships as well. Oh no! How many eggs has missed out again? <laughs> oh dear. I feel I feel we have to give how many eggs an honorary membership. <laughs> Oh dear. Thanks for trying, Cranky. Love it. Love it. I generally think you must be the only person. Oh no, Shogun Sarah's is there. Oh, Shogun's now gone. <laughs> Poor ham and eggs.
Oh, ham and eggs. Am I a John Deere guy or a Massey guy? I'm more of a John Deere guy than a Massey guy, although I do like the 8S. I think that's a great tractor. And the new 9S that we saw at Alamo was uh, pretty special as well. Very cool. Cool indeed. Right. Try something. Oh, Mark's going as well. <laughs> Can we? Can we? No! Poor ham and eggs. It's brutal. Brutal. Even I'm in on the act now. <laughs> ham and eggs, ham and eggs, ham and eggs, come on. Come on. No! <laughs> ham and eggs, please check that you can receive gifts. <laughs> this is getting expensive. <laughs> And it's going to go the other way, right? Oh, you've got to laugh. Accept gifts. It's on you. The server's going to be a riot, I know, right? There's not going to be enough space, I'm going to have to throw up some more servers just to keep everybody happy. Make sure, if you have got a gifted sub, uh, make sure you, when you're in the Discord, you link your YouTube and your Discord, and it will sync you up, and it will give you access to the servers, the server channels there, which has got the passwords and where to download the mods and stuff from, so definitely do that. <clears throat> I feel personally invested in ham and eggs plight now. Uh, how many have we got for the stream? I will check just now, actually. Okay. Oh no! We've got we've got the GPS bug. GPS bug. GPS bug. Turn it off. Turn it off and on again. There we go. Nearly got through the whole stream without a crash. <laughs> I love how that bug has made it through multiple games. I know it has, hasn't it? <clears throat> Right, down, down one and back one. Not in water, exactly. I wasn't reading the chat. Cheers, Mark. Thank you, mate. Right, let's get line at sea. It's tw twitching the other way. Go. It wouldn't be a true stream unless there wasn't a crash. Exactly. He has done a Hamish. 
which is different to an argsy. Right, one more run down, I think, and then I will head off to me, get my beauty sleep. I'll only need about a week and a half permanent sleeping. Four hammer necks. I've, been, I've properly enjoyed myself tonight. That's been good fun. I will um, find out who's uh, left on the server and hand over ownership of the combine to them. Dallas Gomez, uh, how do you get the map? If you search the Oaks by Farm Sim Briscoe, it will um uh, you can download it from his is itch.io page that's probably the best and if you do google it it will come near the top argsy no worries mate that's okay to get distracted by work during the day at work <laughs> that's it's not a bad thing um what you do watch the stream at work anyway get on with your job <laughs> take care mate i'll see you soon Can you not give subs on the app? I don't know, if I'm being honest. Chris, I do not know. It's random, unfortunately, Brett. It is random. There you go. Thank you, Mark. Todd Stambag. Hello. Nice to see you, mate. First time watching. Communities remembered by Amy. Ah, there you go. Well, it's good to have you here, mate. Thanks for uh, thanks for dropping in. Unfortunately, we're just about to close things off for the stream, but uh, I appreciate you. It should have been. I don't know why. Actually, I haven't seen it all night, to be honest. But uh, try it. See what happens. Yeah, Nightbot should have been set up tonight, but I've just realised we've not had any messages. So, um, if you're looking to get into Discord, actually, let me see if I can um, just double check, actually. Nightbot. Timers. Yeah, it should be running. Very odd. All up and running. Who knows? The gremlins, the same gremlins that mean Ham and Eggs hasn't got a membership, are the same ones that mean that Nightbot's not working for messages, but there we go. We'll be at the coast with the fam, but gonna try. Thanks. Ruffin. Been about a year since I've been here and on a different name, but great to be able to catch some FSG live here. Well, it's good to have you back. What was your what was your old name? See if I can remember you. I've got pretty good memory. Sometimes. Mrs. FSG would totally disagree with that, but Zach. Well, it's good to have you back, Zach. Back, Zach. Thank you, Mark. There's the Discord invite. Legend. Hellhook, have a good one, mate. Thanks for hanging out tonight. I appreciate you. Oh, farm to Bob's 12 months as well. There you go. Strody, if you think you've watched the stream before, you can get them online. I've had quite a few gifted subs when I've not even been watching. Just get a random email. There you go. Right, 
Right, end of the row here. I'm going to jump out. And uh, bid you all a good night. Good night, Bob. <laughs> right, there we go. I think Amy's itching for a bit of combine driving. So let me put the brakes on. Hope. Don't go through the... Uh, through the hedge. There we go. Spin it down. I'll leave the engine running. There we go. That has been a trusty steed for the night. We've got through quite a lot of stuff there, haven't we? That is pretty good. That's the reason I left the engine running, so Amy could unload. But uh, there you go. Enjoy my burger. Thank you, J-Mac. I appreciate it. Uh, and thanks to everyone. That's been a really fun stream. Good to chat. Good banter tonight. I like that. Ham and eggs. We'll get you, man. Don't you worry. We'll get you at some point. But uh, till the next time, Logging League Saturday. If you're going to catch that, that'd be awesome. Uh, vid out tomorrow night, looking at my new setup. Um, and then we'll, we'll play it from there. But uh, thank you all. Appreciate you all. Thank you to anybody who bought a hat tonight, anybody who's left a gifted sub or anything like that, or a, or a super chat. You're all legends. You don't have to. And I appreciate every single one of you for doing that. Um, Take care, look after yourselves, stay safe, and uh, we'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye for now.